the animals real? Where did all these animals come from? They're not even moving. Are they real? Are the animals or the dioramas real? Are these animals real? People often ask, are dioramas real? Well, in fact, they are real. They're real animals, and they're real places that have been drawn and painted and reconstructed. Today, with the internet and personal devices, we can learn about nature from a distance. Dioramas bring faraway lands and unique species to visitors up close and life-size. All of these dioramas take some careful looking at. I mean, on first glance, it's just a scene. You kind of take it in and walk by. But if you go back and look carefully, there are amazing details painted into the backgrounds and also in the foregrounds. One great example is this marbleberry plant, famous for its blueberries, the brightest biological substance in nature. There are insects, there are birds, there are all kinds of things going on. And the longer you stay there and look, the more you see. You see a male, female, often a young. It shows them either relaxing or perhaps feeding, or in a few cases, there's some fear from a predator that's just suggested over the edge of the diorama. The animals that you see in our dioramas were collected and brought back to the museum. On all of the expeditions that were sent out to assemble material for the dioramas, artists and naturalists kept very careful records of what they found. Scrapbooks were made of the individual plants, they were identified, photographs were taken, and drawings were made so that that area, whether it be in Africa, Asia, North America, could be reconstructed as close to the original as possible back here in Philadelphia. Dioramas are a fusion of art and science. Their scale, detail, and drama show us a world very few get to experience in person. Dioramas can tell us a lot about the animals that are shown in them, and they explain the need for saving these spaces that are so precious to the animals for their survival. Thank you.